just a really quick one guys to chuck at the start of the video um this is a double upload day so this video should be going up at some point around between maybe 1 and 2 p.m and then i'll have the next one today up at 8 8 p.m uh, so stay tuned for that and also while we're on my desktop if you see anything you are interested in and maybe would like to, to see me make a video on please let me know guys welcome back to project portsmouth this is year three part five back a little bit earlier than expected i am recording i know in the i've just finished editing part four and i know i said right at the end of it that i'd wait for some feedback but we've i'll show you what we've done because we we know we're on now on new year's day so we, we've you know good news is we made it this far i'll show you where we got to i made some sign-ins I, I managed to find the players that i signed in the, the first time around so suarez was a goalkeeper i did sign a raw Joe, I was going to sign, but I didn't actually sign him the first time, but now I am going to do it. And then Singer, we did actually confirm last time. All youngsters. Um, all, no, none of them are English, but hopefully we'll get a couple of homegrown nations from, well, maybe we'll get a homegrown nation from the 18-year-old. Um, I think, I mean, the board are happy with the sign-ins. We're going to send them all intensive language course. We're going to welcome them. Um... I'm feeling all right about this, you know, I feel we can, I'll show you why we're feeling all right. Oh, they want the Garley on loan. Who's that? Boreham Wood in League Two. Should probably let him go, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's let him go. Um, yeah, I don't really, this should... yeah, let's take him. Um, so, schedule. Where did we leave off last time? We left off at Hull. So we played Stoke. Uh, that was a one all draw. We went 1-0 up as well. And I was... Uh... And do you know what's really funny? I tested a formation for this game. Which I've... I don't know. It might have worked. It might not have. We went with a 3-5-2. I say it might not have. I don't know if it worked or not. Because we, we drew against Stoke earlier in the season. But ultimately... This was devastating. We went 1-0 up. And then they, then Curtis Jones scored. Troy Parrott missed the penalty in the 79th minute. But Harness here, he got a start. He managed to score. Then they scored here. Atibo crossing it over to Curtis Jones. And then Parrott. Oh, saved. <laughs> we almost had the win, but we got a one-all draw. So, against Stoke City, who are... Currently third in the league, we'll take a draw, especially in our situation. Um, and then we played Peterborough, got a 2 0 win. In this game, we went to a 4 2 3 1 and played with an attacking midfield. We don't really have any good attacking midfields, but Rolls is the best we've got. And to be honest, he didn't do a bad job. Uh, we Well, I say that, well, Troy Parrott managed to get two goals in this game. Um, one right from the start of the game. And a penalty in the second half, uh, quite early in the second half. So Parrott scores a nice header from a corner. And then he scores it, he makes up for his previous error and gets a penalty. So 2 0. You know, we got another win. So it puts us in a position. If I can find. Um, excuse the keyboard being so loud. So we need four points from the next three games, which I think is doable. Um, QPR is a winnable game. Well, fifth. Mm -hmm. Watford, 10th. Um, who's the next one? So, and Bristol. So, uh, to be fair, all of these games are going to be hard, but we just need one win and one draw. Um, and we're back in it. So, I'm I'm feeling quite confident. Um, I wanted to show you where we got to this game. I think what I'm going to do is we'll play the FA Cup game on the live com because it'll be it'll be quite interesting. I think they're League One Sunderland. Let's just see how we get on against a team doing really well in League One. And we'll probably, prob I guess we'll just probably come back and show you the highlights of the next two. Um, and then maybe Bristol City will be like the final game of the episode. Um, so let's, I'll, I'll, I think we're actually on the Sunderland game now. Um, let me register my players because I might be, able, I'm not sure if I need to because they're under, under a certain age. But um, yeah, let's, oh, here we go. They don't ask me to do it already. So let's register some players here. Uh, da, da, da. Was that all of them? 
It was just free, wasn't it? So we've registered our players now. Um, we had a list. If we go to short, that's not it. Or shortlisted. Shortlisted players near ending contract. We have all these players here that are ending near the end of their contract, and we're we're looking to sign a couple. So Ojo, obviously, I think he's homegrown nation. He's a very good player. We've we've we, oh he didn't want to play for us. And um, there's a few that we're looking at. Sarpreet Singh. He looks like a really solid attacking midfield. Now we, we might be using that formation going forward with a 4 2 3 1, and he'd be perfect for it. So we're looking to try and get him in. We've made a contract offer. Hopefully he'll join us. Andre Silva's an interesting one. We've got some incredible mental stats. I haven't even tried this. He might not want to join us. No, no. I don't blame him either. He's been playing for some big teams. Why would he want to go down to the championship? Um, we've got players like Eze, who. He's one that I'd like to get in as well, but we can't because he's in the um, because it's within the same division. We can't get him in on a free. But there's a few players that, like I said, we're, I'm actually scouting them all at the moment to see if we can uh, get any of them in. But but yeah, uh, like this guy for example, right back. I probably would get him in to be honest, but um, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, these are our players we've been looking at for pre-contracts. Uh, hopefully we can get one or two more um, but yeah so we're about to get in the board we're not happy with the progress on the club vision but they're actually hitting B minus they're happy with our results on the pitch so about to get into this game against Sunderland uh, I think we're gonna stick with this because I feel we maybe need to get used to using this this system um, so who have we got we've got this winger we're probably we're gonna bring him on the bench um, for mm, Harness is actually no, 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 no. What am I doing? Elliot can start as an inverted winger, um, and we'll have this new guy on the bench. In terms of the goalkeeper, our goalkeeper is currently injured for up to five weeks. Centre back, I think this guy, if we compare with Hoban, is probably the best one to compare with. Um, looks like he might be better. He is better. So he went and put him on the bench instead of Hoban. Unfortunately, mate, I think his time might be up. Hoban there. Uh, I think potentially McGee's time might be up as well because our new goalkeeper, if we compare them, compare with McGee, yeah, he's probably going to be playing over McGee. Um, but Bass starts in this game. Uh, so is that the team? That might be the team. We're going to stick with roles. Like I said, we don't really have anyone else who can play there. Curtis is okay, Harness is okay, but Rolls is, and Elliot's actually okay, but if we play Elliot there, we don't have anything else to play on the right. Mm, I don't know. We'll stick with this. Let's get into this game, because we're going to stick on positive. I'll just show you this, the, the the system we're going with. Um, we're not specifically counter-pressing or regrouping, we're just trying to counter on them. High line of engagement, high defensive line, get stuck in. I might take off the get stuck in, actually, to try and avoid some yellow cards, but let's get in. So center back let's give him number t number 30 the winger let's give him number 25 all right it's not too late we can make a comeback i'm com uh, do you know what we played really well against peterborough with this formation we just we dominated the game and i'm i'm, I'm fairly confident that we can this might be a good formation going forward i've used it in loads of previous saves um in the past, in FM19, FM20, but I've not used it in this one at all yet. I just, we didn't really have the personnel for it, but Rolls might be able to do a job. If we start training him in, in that role, I think he's young enough to pick up the position. We'll start training him in it, and hopefully he can do a good job in that. So close of a lovely ball into Parrot. Oh, it was a really good save from the goalkeeper. That's unlucky. But we started well in this game. A lot of the ball, they've only had, we limited them to no shots on target, just one shot in total. We're not, we're not created much, but, um, you know, it's early days. Oh, my God. That was... <laughs> that would have counted as well. I thought it might have been an offside decision in there, but definitely not. Come, boys. Barcola's disappointing. What's happening here? Down in was shoved by Miller. We've got a penalty. Apologies, I've just covered that. But Parrot with a chance to score another penalty. Can he do it? Yes, he can. 
I'm not massively confident on him on the spot. He has got good penalties, doesn't he? 13. He's got okay penalties. But um, he's missed a couple this season, but he's also scored a few really important ones. So, I mean, against a League One side, we're not doing amazing, but we're doing alright. We're doing okay. There is time in this game. Wonder if it's worth making a couple of changes. Where is this guy's best position? So he's best on the left as a winger. Yeah, go on him. Show us what you can do, lad. Um, no one else is particularly tired just yet. We might actually take off Parrot, give Bottom some game time, because he's he's not been playing well, and I've let him know that. So I said, but I said to him, I have faith in you. We'll give him just over half an hour in the cup, and um. Hopefully he can repay the faith. Oh, hello. That was very close from him. He almost got straight on the score sheet. Come on, guys. Come on. We need confidence. Wins give us confidence, and we should start flowing a bit more. Uh, what more? We're going to bring you off as well for our new boy. He's better as just a central defender. Okay. All right. Changing centre-backs mid-game is never great, especially when it's your best one. But we should still be doing it. Come on, let's not... Oh. <laughs> we might have to take this to a replay at the Stadium of Light, which wouldn't be ideal. But can Elliot... Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, that was very unlucky. He's missed... He's not scored a free kick, I don't think, this season. But he's definitely got it in his locker. We know he has. Looks like he's picked up a slight knock. Still five minutes left of the game. Oh, our new centre back. Oh my god, that almost was the end. Our new centre back almost just cost us. Come on. Let's let's get something out of this. Let's let's win this game. Come on, rolls. Yes, what a goal! Right, I know we shouldn't be doing this against League One, but we're, we're shutting up shop now. <laughs> League One opposition, we're shutting up shop. Right, you love to see it. You love to see it. What a goal that was from halfway inside their own half. 2 1 win. Not massively convincing, but it's a win nonetheless. Um, <laughs> a road. Our centre back came on and made a mistake instantly. Uh, I'm not going to criticise them because we need the confidence to flow. FA Cup for. Oh, oh no, Elliot's out for four to six weeks. Well, it's a good thing we got a new winger in, isn't it? So, roll shines. You were fantastic in front of... Do you know what? He's played well when he's played in that position so far. Only in two games, but both times he's played really well. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what I'll do is I'll skip ahead and we'll see what happens in the next two games and we'll come back for the Bristol City game. All right, guys, you join me back here now, second half of this Watford game. I am, it, it, the reason I brought it back now is because if we win this game, we save our job. We've still got one more game left to, to do it. We need three points from our next two games. Oh my God, Parrot. McCallum plays a wing back into Parrot. I didn't, oh, I didn't realize we were on only commentary. Uh, right, we're back to key highlights. We're two one up. If we win this game, That'll be insane. And just imagine. Power of oh, lovely. McCallum's doing well in this game. It's good to see. We're playing with wing backs in this game, and it's good to see them doing well. There's no real thought behind it, to be honest. I just I'm not happy of any formation we've used this season. Everything we've played has been awful. So why not try something different? But that is some lovely play. Bottom, can he finish it? No, oh, he's been terrible. One of our worst signings. We might not even make our money back on him. I thought it'd be insane for us. I was actually, I was convinced. He hasn't had, you know, constant running the team because of Parrot, but he really should be doing better. But we need to get, we need to clear this ball. Lovely from McCallum. All right, we're going to go on cautious. Um, we're going to lower our tempo. Just going to hold our shape. Slow the pace down, you know. Come on. 
do some bit of time wasting as well. This would be an absolute feat if we can pull this off. We are going to bring everything back just a little bit. In terms of substitutions, mm, should we make any? No one's particularly knackered knackered. We've got a few players that can maybe do with a little rest, but we haven't really we've only got one set of wing back or players that can play wing back, so I think we're just gonna leave it as it is. Did we already put time wasting on? I think we did. Navarro. Good clearance. Into Parrot. Come on you two. Parrot, can he get us can he win it? Oh no. Unlucky. But we've got another highlight potentially. McCallum. He's taking his time. Doing exactly what his manager has asked. Waste a bit of time. And they get it out. Hopefully that's the end of the highlight though. Hopefully that's the end of the highlight though. Lovely. Unless we can get a... Oh, hello. That looked a bit nasty. Is it just a yellow or is that a red? Oh, he's been sent off. Oh, they've had a red card. That just that changes things. Alright. So we're going to be disciplined. Screw it. Let's... Uh... Um, bit more energy. No, everyone's okay. I'll bring in Ghana. I think other than that, we're good. Can we do this? Can we hold on for a two? Oh my god, there's a highlight right at the end of the game. Matheson, Parrot, Parrot. Hello. Oh, he's almost got a worldie. Hopefully, this is the end of the game. Come on, end of the game. Can we do it? Callum. Galbraith, Garner, Matheson, Parrot, end of the game, yes! Lads, we've done it. I, I, I realise I, I haven't um, explained much. Because <laughs> obviously we're supposed to be coming back for Bristol City. But look at this. What did we play last time? Um, we played Sunderland, didn't we? QPR, one all draw. Troy Parrot in the 95th minute scoring this was absolutely unbelievable i'm pretty sure their goal was pretty trash as well it was a stupid mistake from the defender um yeah what more did terrible there but 95th minute troy parrot with the free kick i was so happy absolutely delighted and then watford 2-1 I, I obviously started it at half time so i'll show you the two goals in the first half but Oh my god, the scenes and playing with wing backs as well. Maybe we're after, maybe we're after try it again in the Bristol City game as well. But that was their goal. Bottom, not a great pass, but he passed it over to Troy Parrot, who did a phenomenal strike. And that's it. We've uh... oh look at this again. Look at that. The winner from Parrot in the 50, 53rd minute. Oh guys, we've we are having a madness at the moment. We're going to come back from Bristol City. We have saved our job. Let's just go ahead a little bit to see if it shows it. We have, for now, saved our job. Um, it doesn't say anything, but we are 11 points out of relegation zone. We, we, we need at least mid-table, minimum. Um, so we need to get to 12th, which is 39 points. Eight points away with still nine games to go. It's doable. It's doable. I'm thinking... Maybe we stick with this. I'm thinking. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead to the next game and we'll do a full live con for Bristol City. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, We've now got the game against Bristol City. Bottom, his rating is really going down. He is just not improving at all. He, he, I don't know what's going on with him, but we're going to leave it like that in terms of... We're going to still going to leave them two up front. I would like... Gongo just can't play as a wing... Well, he can play as a wing back, all right. We're going to bring him on the bench anyway. Um, do we have anyone else that can play wing back? Nope. Interesting. So I hope he doesn't get injured. Um, in the midfield, we're going to leave it like... No, Garner's going to come in for Galbraith. Um, and yeah. That is a team we're going to go with. Hope it's going to be another tough game against Bristol City. These are they're top of the league and they're probably going to get promoted to the Premier League. Um, so what we just got to do is we just got to, um, we just got to do our best really in this game. Let's hope that 
you know, we can be defensively solid and maybe catch them out on the break. It's kind of what we're going for in this system. We're trying to keep the ball as much as we can, but we're not going to be pushing hard for a goal. We're just going to try and counter-attack as and when. Parrot's running through and a really good effort from him. And not a bad start to the game, you know. We're still keeping a lot of the ball. We've had a couple of shots. We just got to make sure we can keep it up. It's going to be difficult to keep it up for the full 90 minutes, especially when, you know, when we expect them to pile on the pressure. But, you know, even a draw out of this game. I mean, if we, even if we lose and we, we put up a really good fight, I'll be happy. But I'd love... I'd be delighted with a draw. I thought we might have had a counter-attack on them, but I don't think so. I think... Oh, Stuart. Okay, into bottom. Is he going to run through? Oh, he can't... He just can't score. I don't know what it is about it. He's just so bad. I've got a few players that, through the academy that I would have liked... I've, I've actually sent them out on loan in the last sort of week or so in the game. Kind of wish I hadn't because I might have given them an opportunity. Um, we're not doing badly at all. If everyone works hard, we could win this. Let's go. Not doing badly at all against a team first in the league. We are on key highlights, aren't we? Yeah. Come on. The only problem is we don't have many options in terms of changing. I do think we should probably bring off bottom because he's been terrible. Um, I'll leave it like that for now. I'm happy with the midfield. They're not playing particularly amazing. You know, uh, McCallum... Not McCallum. You know, they're not playing particularly amazing, but we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Um, Burgess has come back in. He's... Oh, I was about to say he's done alright so far, but I saw him almost give the ball away, so... I'll hold off on that for a few more games, but come on, can we win the ball back here? Garner. What more? Hoban. Burgess. Oh I, oh, I knew it. I knew it. As soon as I said it, I was oh, Burgess is going to make a mistake. That's why I held off on saying it. Oh, silly. Of course he does. Oh, good save from Bass. A goalkeeper is our number one priority for next season. We may even look this January, but come on, boys. We'll give him a little bit of praise. Can we make can we make any substitutions? Um, let's bring on. Let's, yeah, let's bring on Rolls as a box to box midfielder, and Gongal can come on as well. That's all our substitutions made. Wouldn't it be crazy? Wouldn't it be absolutely mental if we can nick a win here? But I'm not disappointed if we don't. Yes, and a good draw, solid draw against. Top of the table, Bristol City. Double the amount of points as us. Well done, lads. Oh, I think we found something here. It's happened last season, about this point last season, where we found something that was working. Not quite the same, but... The board are delighted to inform you that following the promise you made to them, they are now satisfied that you've done your utmost to keep it. They are pleased that you've delivered on your agreed points total and were particularly impressed that you've exceeded their expectation, notching up an impressive nine points in five matches. As a result of the improvements you made as manager, the board have cancelled any plans to relieve you of your role at the club. Going forward, the board hope you won't give them reason to regret their decision. Five unbeaten, let's go! So, um, I love it, I love it. Right, let's have a look. Schedule. Look at this. Including the FA Cup game, we haven't lost a game in six games. Competitions. It's not pretty reading, but at least we're 11 points out of relegation and we could potentially be looking up the table. You know, there's still time in this league. Oh, I am delighted. Oh. I can't even. I can't even. We've done it. We've managed to save the job. I never thought I'd be saying that at the start of the season, but here we are. We've got to make the best of a bad situation. Get through. We've got a few youngsters now coming through. We need to get through this season. And hopefully, if we can keep our job, we'll be all set for a great season next season. So, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And apologies for it being so disorganised in the last two episodes. But either way, I hope you have enjoyed. Take care and goodbye.